Welcome back to Pot County Cribs. Come on. Then they always follow the person in with the camera. <laughs> Most of y'all probably don't even know what I'm talking about. MT MTV Cribs. Uh, ain't that what they, they followed celebrities or went and looked at their houses, which is kind of weird. Uh, but anyhow, that's how they'd always start off the show. Like, come on in, follow me in here. We are not at my crib. We are at the new shop, guys. Uh, y'all know I've been uh, scrambling to get as much progress done out here as possible. And last week we made some pretty good progress. Uh, as you can see, all the walls are now painted. We did have like the bottom four foot remaining. Uh, we took care of that. As you can see, the Datsun looks damn good. That has nothing to do with the shop progress. And we built these metal poles uh, and got them attached to our beam up there instead of the rink dink ones that were in there. Of course, we got that all painted black and looking mighty fine. Boy, we've got a setup and a half going on out here. <laughs> I ain't hit y'all with the arm swing in a minute, have I? That right there's arm swing worthy. You want to lean on that sucker, swing that arm and show it off, guys. Be proud of that. So I've been telling you, everyone's full force on the house over there, guys. We're possibly two weeks out from uh, moving into that thing, and that's close. So, as much as I want to be working on cars in the old shop, we also need to be getting the new shop ready to work on cars so we can get here and work on cars. Now I got a few hours I can put in today because uh, with this going on, there's always something. Go here, go there, pick this, pick that. Uh, now we get to do that with some stuff that has to go inside the house. Uh, but do not be fooled. I have made progress by golly. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that junkyard action. <laughs> Come on. Uh, that looks good. All right. But that stuff did not teleport there. Oh no. It took some work. It was actually quite a bit of work. It's also why I'm super sunburnt because yesterday me and a buddy and then another buddy, uh, we, we did some moving. And all of that went kind of like this. Insert a uh, flashback. Boy, today I'm just full of smart decisions this morning, guys. Smart decisions. Smart decisions like uh, knowing this week I was going to move our junk up into our junkyard and parking the trailer right in the middle in the way. That's a smart decision. Second smart decision. Uh, coming out here knowing we're going to move stuff. So thinking, hey, I'll bring the tow roller. Then to realize that means we got to move the trailer with the tow roller. No big deal. She'll handle it. Now my buddy's coming out here and he's bringing his tractor. And I don't know what he has for chains and stuff like that. So I want to bring the tow roller because it's got all the, the tow straps and stuff in it. Let's see how many times it takes me to get this. <laughs> the shove's pretty easy on that old shell. Look at me go. I'm a jacking expert. Now I hear Randy here with his cute little tow truck. You think that Cummins can tow, buddy? I'll show y'all what a damn tow truck looks like. If you hear a little crunching back there, just don't worry about that, okay? That's that's uh the, the tires are self-clearancing it's a very custom feature this car has mm. <laughs> oh yeah that sounds real good real good oh just back her on up she's a backing up machine <laughs> you didn't know when i offered to come over a truck and trailer to get that tractor i meant the tow roller did you <laughs> You would have shit if I showed up with this. <laughs> Honestly, it probably wouldn't have surprised me. Go down and drive and show this Cummins what you got. Don't don't be intimidated. Pull up there. It's like being in prison. Pick the biggest SOB there. Go knock him on his ass. Let him know you ain't scared. Get her unstrapped here. So Randy's got the bucket on the Kubota. She's a four-wheel drive unit. And we got the box blade with the welded-in ball. Kind of had to do a little stare in here and looking at the junkyard area. So I think what we're going to do is take our first one in our back corner. We're going to try to back her into there. Maybe a little bit of an angle. Do the wing dangle with an angle. And then we'll just kind of stack them down 
uh, to get started along that back fence row. And I think we're gonna start with the biggest one first. So we're gonna come down here and see what it takes to get the uh, 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 big orange load star up in that corner. And I knew I was gonna be in the sun today and it was gonna get hot. So I wore my beach shirt because it is a uh, moisture wickening or whatever they say. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to start with the Lodestar. Uh, I may have forgot it was plum covered in metal. <laughs> now, I was real smart about this, so we're uh, trying to move these when the grass is nice and mowed here. Can't even see that 64 wagon. Don't worry, I got my weed boards right here. Bring her on back, bring her on back. It'll hold her, it won't. From the wild brush, she emerges. Ooh. Wonder what's all living in here. Uh, I see a wasp. Let's see if I can't get stung. <laughs> Found some looby dooby. Let's see what happens here. Oh, well that was disappointing. Take that. <laughs> Just gave it a little sprinkle. My buddy's allergic to wasps. He's probably like that crazy bastard. Come on. Yeah. Stay out of my load star. I took the for sale sign down for a reason. <laughs> get the window down in the sucker. Make sure she started. Limited edition. Get her in tow mode. Ready to roll. There we go. Them old school buses thought they had a steering wheel. Well, they ain't ever seen this unit, have they? What does that say? Switzer Road. I'll pay attention. Don't worry about me. <laughs> what do you think about me putting it in first gear and letting out on the clutch and seeing if we unstick a motor? I think he's just dragging me. <laughs> I'm Mr. Glass half full, okay? So uh, all that means to me, yeah, do we have a stuck engine? Sure. But that also means we got a good working clutch. <laughs> if you're really optimistic, that means you have a brake, kinda, if you know how to work it right. Cause uh, brake pedal stiff, okay? It's uh, definitely seized up, so we ain't got no brakes neither. Most impressively about this truck and our little trip right now is we ain't lost none of the metal off the back, which makes me happy. Better swing your wide, swing your wide. This here's the pudding tang. Come on, they call me pudding tang. 77 downshift, center to heaven. Come on, baby. We need to put the Cummins in this where we can tow that and have a matching, buddy. Should have brought a hammer, huh? You know them Skechers don't play no games? If I was wearing a standard old work boot, I may have been a little scared, but not with these Skechers on, no sir. Hey now, careful. Lose the grill. Well, there we go, guys. One down. We got the old uh, Tic Tac Orange load star back over here in the hidey hole that also gives me an idea now we got water kind of runs along right here maybe y'all can see and then it uh, goes down to this fence line and runs that away we get enough boards sat right here to keep our metal up out of this grass this would be a good place to set our old tin metal well a little counterproductive here uh because we're moving this again already but I did decide uh, this back edge is probably the perfect spot to put our rusty tin metal. I don't know we'll do anything with the rusty tin metal. We should maybe just get rid of it. But at the same time, it's here. And who knows? You know, stuff's kind of hard to find. And just as soon as I get rid of it, sure enough, uh, I'd be wanting some for a new project. And we'd be hunting it down again. Yeah, she's a little tight. Push on the bumper. She's a big girl, she'll handle it. Yeah. 
It looks good seeing that out the corner anyhow. Man, that's a badass rig. Now, speaking of rusty metal, we got rusty metal everywhere. All this crap's rusty metal. I think this toe strap here is kind of in between, in between lengths of the two he has in his bucket there. And this metal's 23 foot long, so it's a little tricky to navigate. maybe when you tell someone with confidence that it'll work then you know it makes them want to do it but if you're like i don't know it may not work then they're like maybe we shouldn't try it so if you're going to tell your friends to do something dumb say with confidence go ahead it's gonna work this is how you do some pot county surfing by the way Do I look like a surfer with the shirt or what? Or do I look like an idiot on some metal? 400 pounds of solid steel right here. I was holding him back. As soon as I got off, he started going faster. Sometimes I say things and I should think before I say them. defeated yeah baby good hey not too shabby that's kind of where I wanted it maybe keep us out of the water some <laughs> We're gonna get this right one of these times. This is how not to move cars. Step one, move the same vehicle about 12 times. Step two, pull head out of ass. Step three, get the one that's gonna be a royal pain in the butt where it needs to go, AKA our 64 wagon. Guys, it does not roll. Uh, it's definitely gonna fight us the most. We are not even gonna try to move the big box truck. So don't, don't try to factor that into this vehicle moving equation. But our 64 is, uh, yeah, she's a pain in the rear. And it looks like it's going to be a pain in the rear just to even get it out of here. Because we got a pickup bed in our way that we're going to have to figure out how to get out of here. Step 12, whatever we're on. Oh, get stuff to kill the ants. That should be step 10 and 11. Uh, we need to go get the forks for Randy's bucket of the tractor. We're realizing uh, they may make our life a little easier in a couple situations here so we're gonna take the real truck i ain't seen this place since you got rid of the paint booth you got a spotlight over here if we made it pivot down there and got us a 12 volt winch where we could pick stuff up don't tempt me oh can't imagine why our door panels are in bad shape try again so what do we got here the c-clamp special oh yeah yeah then you get your jam nut. Yep. All right, there's one. They're not super good, but they work. Go! <laughs> At least you're honest, buddy. What if we put that underneath the front of the bed, then just hook onto here and take it to the back and see? Uh... Kind of bounced up some. Did you bring your epi pen? I ain't giving you mouth to mouth. <laughs> you dang right. Works like a charm. I still can't believe we found a damn color matched bed for that moss gold uh, GMC. Now, I don't know this. I just assumed that color made it a rare bird. Oh, I heard a little clunky. Didn't know if we were dropping it. Two hundred bucks within. 40 minutes of the house can't beat it i think we'll bring it just kind of right here i don't want it in the row of vehicles because when we fix that truck i'd like to just back up to it and be able to pick this up and set it on there it's like a gentle teddy bear <laughs> 
I don't know how many more pushing stops we've got in our metal here before we lose it. We've got it. Yep, we're getting real close. Just pretend like you did not see that. Forward ho. Onward. <laughs> now our 64 Impala wagon, it is rough. And I mean R-U-F-F, rough, rough. Like a yapping dog, rough, rough. I don't know we're going to have any control over this. Is she all there? Yeah, I don't know who put that there. <laughs> That's definitely our problem. That's just digging in and it's a break. I got a black one sitting right behind us. It was nailed into place even. Oh, yep, there they are. Found them. Their nest is right in here. That right there will do it. That's a little Pot County patina sauce right there that gets that patina looking good. I think I killed them all. She's trying. This tire is grabbing really good too. You can see where it's been dragging. Oh yeah, we had a, a board underneath here too. She just ain't got it, buddy. Well, that did not go as planned. At least we got to kill some wasp, you know. That always makes me happy. You win some, you lose some. Uh, we're going to go over here. We're going to win this one. I don't think any of them going to roll as good as the load start. Damn, Uncle Sam, we ain't gonna have a lens left. It's starting to look like a junkyard around here, all this crap on my rock. It's good. Maybe. That's coming out of your wallet. This thing had pristine body before that. Now the body of this thing's garbage, guys. I really don't know why I'm keeping it. Our dad's in bed here. I'm gonna cut the ass end off of it. And then the rest of it's going to scrap metal. It's all tore up. Uh, this cab's plumb torn up. It's garbage. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Here she comes. Bring it on back. Yeah. Next up. Short wide bed. Square body. Chassis. Whatever this is. You're our lucky winner. Come on down. Boy, I thought that 5x5 five five on that wagon was wedged. But this core support, it's wedged. Hey, I can't steer. 
He may be crab walking a little bit. You're kind of steering. <laughs> yeah. Dang expert. Some of these are being like me in middle school. Just a little tricky. Just enough to be ornery. Perfect. All right. Another one in Junk Alley. <laughs> it's my evil laugh because my evil plan here of having a junkyard. See, if you make your junkyard half kind of pretty, then you can convince your wife that it's okay to have a junkyard because she's like, oh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I'll wait till I get it full of junk. We'll see if you like it then. <laughs> Next up, Toyota, the old uh, White Flame Deluxe. I told Randy it should roll. Uh, it does have a bent drive shaft, and he said bent is an understatement. Make sure she's in neutral. Make sure your key's on, you know. I think we'll drag this one forward where we can get to the back of it, probably. That'd probably make our life easier backing it in. Our Toyota pick up truck, we got to be extremely careful with, guys, because we don't want to bend our back bumper. <laughs> Even though our uh, little knobby tires here are flat, they're big enough that they, they still roll pretty decent, actually. If you're wondering where the hell this Toyota came from, be sure to check out the second channel because uh, I posted a picture showing it and our turbo coupe over there. Both, which are really cool vehicles for what they are. Uh, Four-wheel drive Toyota, guys. Uh, badass little trucks. The prices on these things lately through the roof. Uh, I got this because I thought maybe one day we'll do a little body swapping like our half hull onto this. And then the turbo coupe, y'all know what that's for. We gotta put that fuel injected turbo motor in the yeehaw. Uh, but more about all that on the second channel if you do so care to check it out. Yeah. Keep her coming, keep her coming. Yep. Keep her coming, keep her coming. And good. This is looking pretty good. We're gonna take the rear end just a hair over. Puddin's Princess Pretty Parts. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of our uh, of our you pull it part service, Princess Pudding Parts. Let's keep the four wheel drive theme going. Next up, the Blazer Ten, the C Ten Azure. You got any flying critters in here? Nope. Yep. We're gonna shove her back where we ain't got to work around the old mower speaking of mower here later this week i probably need to try to fire that thing up and see if it still operates but I got power steering right here. That's the sweet spot right there. Now you can get out there and measure it if you want. Got the old Stanley 12 footer. What in the four wheel drive alley do we got going on here? Well, I guess next we got to put the love in there cause she is a four wheel drive unit. Hey, I didn't know stacking junk cars could look so good. I probably shouldn't be uh, this excited about this. It just looks like a really shitty used car lot. <laughs> we're gonna get Big Mama Orange Lodestar in the mix and then I think we're gonna take us a lunch break. Get the old victory pistols out, guys. This is looking awesome. 
Now, I ain't got to see Randy in a while, so I'm gonna give him a tour of the shop. Uh, I don't know when the last time you synced the house. I know you seen it once. The last time I was out here, you didn't even have roof on it yet. Oh, damn. I was gonna skip eating today, but hooking up to the Toyota, I got a little lightheaded, so I may wanna go eat something. Forgot to record, but y'all know we had to go to Taco Boy. Gotta get that good old burrito, which sounded good, but probably wasn't the smartest thing because it got hot and our bellies are full, which don't do well for working. How you feeling about that decision, buddy? <laughs> I always make bad decisions. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to the Chevy Love next. I forgot to consider these vehicles up here. Don't worry about them. She was turning over. Had to get her out of gear. Uh, we may have had that motor cranking. <laughs> the little patina love that could. Well, it could until it couldn't. You know, as we keep pulling stuff in here, I may have underestimated our storage capacity here and how much junk we could get away with keeping. Look how small the square body makes that look. Square body and the two little rink dinks. Next up, the turbo chicken. What in the hell are them raccoon paws? Make that, I ain't gonna say it. Looks like someone put a raccoon there and told it to assume the position. I'm not like being arrested, you know what I'm saying. Holy hell, it is a hot box in here. Whew, it's hot in there, buddy. This car is hot, guys. I'm talking about like that will burn you. I accidentally hit my arm on it and I knew it. This is a Ford, Randy. I can't believe they put fog lights there, not tow hooks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, reach way back in there and then tuck it. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm shoving burrito. I'm shoving burrito. That was not a good idea. Shouldn't eat that burrito. Bad idea. Woo! Don't worry. We got her. Didn't even tear it up just just a little paint transferred but rubbing's racing you dang right i just popped the hood and showed randy what some real horsepower looks like a little turbo four-cylinder actually he used to be a he used to be a fox body mustang guy so they said underneath the hood pretty well looks identical to the mustangs go mr mercer go at least i rigged up the steering on it where she at least half steers I'm gonna watch and see how much it flexes first. She shouldn't flex much. Wow, that's solid. We good, we good. Onward we go to International Dreamland. She's a roller, buddy. Y'all can call me Mortsky now. I just called in for some skid steer reinforcements. Uh, when we were eating, ran into my buddy Adam and uh, he had a skid steer on. He's like, if you need help, just holler. Uh, the tractor's doing good, but I keep forgetting about this crap up here. And the longer stuff, the little tractor ain't liking so much. Just leverage, you know, it gets you every time. Up here, we're gonna grab our sausage wagon real quick. Sausage, get your sausage. In Pike County, a sausage has been spotted on the loose. For this one, guys, we're gonna shove her down the hill and the hill's gonna help us for sure. Uh, so we want a safety strap on here where we don't send it plumb through the uh, fence line over there. That way we can rip the forks off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Don't be scared. Did he just say, don't be scared? We strapped that to them forks, but did we make sure the forks were tight? Perfect. She'll hold. I ain't scared. She's about to go right there. Go! <laughs> <laughs> 
That one made me laugh enough that my cheek muscle kind of cramped up. Now, I think the sausage wagon can take it because these things got bumpers on the back of them. Yeah, and them bumpers don't play no games. Uh, looks like that corner hit. Luckily, it didn't set the airbag off because, well, there ain't an airbag to set off. But, guys, if you're going to rear end one of these, you better pack a lunch because uh, this thing will take a hit. It's almost like I just predicted that or something. She'll hold. I ain't scared. Uh, I was kind of worried about that. But for some reason, I thought it had shorter strap. So I think maybe when the ones come undone, how you had it wrapped. Because as that got going and kept going and going, I was like, all right, now it's getting some momentum. And sure enough, yank. There it went. I'm telling y'all, this thing is going to be perfectly fine. You like cedar? Yeah. Not, not a bad place to stand. I got a whole bunch of it at my house if you want. No, I'm good. Uh, and all I was really trying to do was open up this trench a little more so that... Uh, so the water flows through here a little better. That's it. And actually guys, what that is, is that's the uh, automatic door closer uh, feature. Cause this door was open, uh, but once you send it down here and use that feature, it's closed. The door still functions. So that's all that matters. Cause that's about all that could have got tore up. There's some wasp in that door. And oh, we may have knocked a bracket off of it, maybe. But that's easy to do when there's no bolts in them. I wasn't even fighting the wasp that time and I got stoned. And I think one come out the door. Uh, got me through the glove even. All right, we got her up out the bank back here. Let's go for a professional analysis. Professionally speaking, we didn't even knock any paint off the bumper. Uh, we did put a little dirt on the bumper. Some of the stuff for plumbing the air in the shop. I actually need to get out of here. So we gotta make sure we got distance back here. Uh, however, I would have pulled the crap out of here first. Uh, but I think I quite possibly, like 11 out of 10 chance, lost the keys for this lock. I don't know where they're at. Me and Randy's been at it for quite a bit today. I mean, now, granted, we ain't working as hard as possible. Uh, recording definitely slows down everything. Uh, but I was going to try to do all this by hand with uh, my winch in a trailer. I think I would have been out here winching and trailering for seven days straight without help from my friends here. Just a fair observation here. Uh, these bolt-on forks make better forks than they do parking brakes. I wanted a skid steer until I seen the price on them. Then I wanted new shorts because I shit myself. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Adam Wilson. First up is gonna be our U-Haul box down there. Uh, that's the main thing I was kind of worried about being able to move, which I mean, we could huff all the stuff out of there if we had to, but uh, anyhow, I think we're gonna probably need a strap or two how much of those things weigh you got any idea I, i've always wondered but i ain't got a clue now we're gonna see what he thinks about flipping around right here coming down coming down down nice and easy does it shoot that's pretty good right there even though we're on a hill that hitch back there kind of has it elevated someone had already got this box with forks twice before in its life so we did a better job than the last people did of not forking that thing up uh, but they sure forked it up how about we hook her right there we got good quality tires on this one GMC, D-U-N, done. We're getting there, guys. Uh, we're gonna move the camper next, but guess where I wanna put it? Randy, he's kinda like slow and steady, but we're more like make it go. <laughs> Get it done. We're gonna start rolling down that hill and I gotta let out on the clutch, we're gonna dump it. <laughs> That's a better spot than any.
better get in here and steer the sucker. Uh, look how nice the steering wheel is. 42,000 original miles. Manufactured by Winnebago Industries. Incomplete vehicle manufactured by Toyota Motors Corporation. Roll down the window. Kind of got my bottom mirror anyhow where I can see. Kind of ish. Nice little breeze. It actually ain't too bad in here. Eee! The dolphin swimming into bay. They call the older ones dolphin campers if you didn't know. This thing's the orca because it's a little bigger than the older ones. See? Perfect little hidey hole to hide this piece of turd. Don't hit your head like I did. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> Dude, she's cherry. It's like brand new in here. <laughs> yeah, underneath the hood looks the same. It's brand new. So I'm saying we re rip it off and put a flatbed on this sucker. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, even with heavy equipment, this shirt turned into a day's worth of work. We're swinging this in next to the GMC. Got to use some uh, manual labor sometimes, guys. Even in hoeing on stuff. It remind you, that'll remind yourself that that uh, skid steer is a luxury. Remind me how lucky I am to have friends here helping me. Yeah. Nailed that tire in the back of the half all perfect deer track right there. Did you get her hooked on? Adam wants to, uh, they said we can at least get this out of here and get it up that way. Holy cow. Oh, it was starting to. It's doing it. It's doing it. There it goes. She got traction now. Oh, we slid up on some weeds. We made a skid. We made a Pot County tire skid right there. Uh-oh, 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 oh. You mean to tell me that's where my tripod's been? That thing's got all the tugging power. Took a little smoochy from the backside uh, from the Kubota, but they got it up there. <laughs> There's my dumpster. That's the top half of the half haul. Whenever I first flipped it off of there back in the day, uh, we've been using it as a dumpster out here since. Now I know what y'all thinking. You're thinking, did, did the U-Haul King himself really just throw out half a box and yes, Yes, I did. Realistically, it'll never go on top of the half haul again. Also, realistically, I'll fill it up with junk to the point that I can't move it myself again. And also, realistically, if I fill it full of scrap metal, I'm not going to take it to the scrap yard and it'll sit in the way again. The heat's killing y'all. About every minute or two, the camera keeps shutting off, guys. I can't handle the heat. I got that bedside from Salvage to repair that bedside. Then, by chance, I found that other bed. So, yeah, now we've got a bedside that I don't know what we're going to do with. So, I definitely underestimated the amount of work that yesterday was going to be. I thought we were going to have that done in, like, two maybe three hours max who would have thunk it and it was hot guys it was hot enough that at the end of the day i couldn't even keep the camera going it was just over there boiling and i still got a few things to pick up this i needed just getting in my scrap trailer scrap trailers at the other place right now this i ain't decided what we're gonna do with it yet uh we should just turn it into a little trailer for behind this thing why well, i didn't have them move that rear end with the skid steer i ain't got a damn clue 
but the lawnmower and up around the shop could definitely use mode uh this lawnmower she's she's my lawnmower at the other place for years and years and years and she's always good to me uh she had her problems here or there but long story short it's been sitting out here for probably over a year without being started so i'm sure the battery is fine we're probably gonna slap some gas in it and it's gonna fire <laughs> she'll fire right up guaranteed now she may look like she has the uh, double tank feature but do not be fooled only this one's hooked up no it, it wasn't like that you're not even listening to me I did not even, I, I did not just leave you. Life just got busy, you know? We we have, we have kids, we have this, we have that, and just before we know it, we don't even know each other. And I forgot you sat out here for a year and four months. But I did not mean to hurt you. You give me one more chance and just start up for me. I think we could fix this. Nope, not quite. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. We're losing fuel. We're losing fuel. Oh my gosh. Just cracked, didn't it? Burn her down. Burn her down. Ow. Shit talky mushrooms. Choke's a little sticky. Go, baby, go. Go. Come on. She actually fired up pretty easy. Oh, she just really cleared up. Matt, come on. We're leaking fuel. I'm going to see if I can at least get her up to the uh, shop. guys took a minute to blow the cobwebs out of her now we're gonna steadily lose our fuel so i'm not gonna keep going here uh and we're gonna try to pinch that off a little bit maybe if we pinch her there and then stick her up right there and our fuel filter is leaking and this little piece of quarter inch hose is leaking so as long as we get that she may need a new battery okay uh, but other than that seems like she's ready for a little mowing action Actually, the drive belt's been worn out. I had one that come with it that's supposed to be for it. I put it on there at one point. I kept throwing it off because I think it's a hair too tight. And, uh, yeah, I never got a proper one for it. Man, it looks so much better. DNH is coming to get that wagon. I looked it over pretty good, guys, yesterday, and it's just rough. And if I was going to build a 64, I don't think it would... I don't think I would start with one like that or one that rough. So we might as well get, get it gone. Overall, it just looks a lot better out here. Now, enough out here. Uh, inside here, I actually wanna get some stuff done, AKA get our cabinets wherever I want them. We gotta figure it out. Pow, get that Datsun out the way or our cabinets can come in here to play. Now, stuff like this is hard for me, guys, because I want it to be set up perfectly underneath here. You know, but who gets to say what the perfect setup is? Uh, I guess that's on me, and I have a hard time picturing stuff. So I think the best thing to do is grab our roller here because it rolls really good. And let's just start laying stuff out over here and see what we're thinking. Mounting these probably ain't gonna be the funnest thing I've ever done. That was easy crap. This is the little bit bigger stuff and we'll just 
We'll use the dolly, show them who's boss. That wasp comes back in here, I'm gonna show it who's boss too. We got the final piece. Uh, actually, what else does a uh, kitchen need? You got countertops, you got cabinets. Yeah, don't fall, don't fall, don't. Sink, drawers. Uh, you also need a refrigerator. I measured my refrigerator at the other shop and I think we'll do something that size. And I do plan on adding on to the shop and it's gonna be office area. And yeah, you would probably want a refrigerator over there, except most of the work's gonna be done right here. So I want the fridge close to me where I can get the cold drinks faster. Hey, yo, hey, 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 hey. Mm, 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 mm. Let's lay these babies out. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't figure out a damn thing. I feel like the refrigerator should be on that side. Come on. Come on. Come on. We did a refrigerator over there. We did the top there. We left a space for a trash can. And then we did our sink. Oh, oh, come up behind me, huh? Come on back. Oh. Perhaps like at my other shop, I uh, use uh, the trash can area to put my brooms. Uh, I think something like that can maybe work. How long are these units? Let's see here, 36 inches. Oh yeah, that's plenty of room. So we could take, well, I say that, hold on, hold on. This should not be this hard to plot out. Fine tuned it a little bit guys, spreading that out exactly where I want it. I think I'm gonna to try to take our cabinets here and get them even with the edge of uh, our cabinets or whatever you call them on the bottom, the bases. I need a little mark there to know where to take my edge to. The problem is I don't know what a, what a standard height is. So I'm gonna walk over to the house and I'm gonna do some measuring in there and get me a, an idea of what I should be doing here. The main problem here, guys, is I don't know what I'm doing. That's the main problem. That's 54 and a half inches tall. And right there's where I'm gonna try to place the corner of the shelf. Uh, these things are not light, so I may be in bad shape here. Gonna have to get a little creative here. So I think if we had something about eight inches tall to sit on this, that would stick it up past this and give us a place to sit. Let's go see what we can't find. I found exactly what we needed. They just installed these eight by eights yesterday on our back porch. They're doing the front porch right now. Ooh, got a perfect eight by eight. This may get us there. What'd you say, you, you need me to chalk the wheel? There we go, she's chopped. Actually just a hair short of 54. That's money. Cause I think I said 54 and a half and that's 54 and five eighths. A little extra eighth inch ain't gonna hurt nothing. We'll take that. Now hopefully I can set that up there in place and uh, that'll kind of hold it. And then we can figure out how to screw it. Uh, now it's supposed to have these little hook brackets. This thing here, you screw it to the wall. This only came with one bracket. So we're just gonna ditch that. I'm gonna figure out how to screw it into uh, the studs and everything back there and she'll just be El Permanente. Oh, did you look at that? Almost like I knew what I was doing. With the one set in the corner, we can kind of use it as a pivot. Pop our level on, and she needs to go that away. Pretty darn close right there. Ten, I repeat. I don't know why I showed you five and said 10. 10, five twice. Screws in that cabinet. 
All 10 of them are sunk into our studs, uh, so that should be a nice sturdy cabinet. Cabinet number two should be solid. Uh, I measured up right here, 64 inches. That refrigerator I have, it ain't very tall, so I figure we'll put the smaller one above the refrigerator area. And if we don't like it, we'll change it, but it's what we're gonna try. I'll set us one screw to be able to sit this on. Uh, we're not gonna do the, the ladder rack em, stack them. This one's gonna get the wing it, dang it. Actually, that may put the bottom where I want it, but it kind of looks goofy, the top not matching across there. So I think we gotta take this whole thing up. First, I'm gonna install the don't go higher than that board. You shove that up, don't go higher than that. I was getting weak there, guys, about lost it. Oh, yeah, that's better. Hey, not too shabby. I, I don't hate it by any means. Uh, I think across the top of that where opening's gonna be, we may figure out a way to spread something across there. Maybe we drop a, a little LED light right there or something. So if we're tweaking with a carburetor sitting there or something, boom, beautiful lighting. Next, we need our cabinet liner upper tool. Simply install right there. We're nice and level side to side, but now we want to check front to back. I'd say that's pretty damn good. Now the big in here, before we put it into place, uh, these kind of just flop around. These are spot welded to there. This uh, does that. And we're going to figure out how to get that crap off there. Saws all made quick work of that. This corner of the spot weld was broke, so I just put us a screw in there. Had to hold it. What better quit? I ain't gonna be able to walk tomorrow. That all being lined up honestly looks a little goofy. That would probably look better centered between that. But we got them outlets and uh we're not redoing all that. I don't think it looks bad. After all, it is just a workshop. Now that looks like it'd be easy enough to secure. Just some screws up through the bottom on some of that would lock her down. However, yet not are we to lock it down. I want to stain that something dark, guys. I like dark. Actually, the light looks good because all those are light colors. I don't know if you sell it with like poly whatever thing that it, uh, like you get gas or lacquer cleaner on it or something uh, and it'll does it break it down and make a mess again i don't know guys and i dropped two of them so i'll be right back fast like lightning <laughs> running down that was the most dangerous thing i've done in a long time <laughs> That's kind of trying to pull at an angle. I meant to bring a big old, one of the big thick ends, the zip ties. I forgot, but I do have tie wire in the van, so I'm gonna put a little piece on it. Just make sure the latch can't pop open. Uh, that way, no one accidentally leans on it and hits it, and <laughs> there they go. She's looking pretty fancy, but if we're gonna get fancy, by golly, let's get fancy. Oh, Robert. Bring me my LEDs for my loft. Rupert's my butler. Uh, he helps me all the time behind the scenes. Y'all just never see it. And that's right. I got some LEDs we're going to try up there. Uh, these things were on like Amazon for like 15, 18, no more than $20. Uh, you plug it in. It's got some little transmitter box right there. Let's see what happens. On yellow, 
purple, but this last color, cyan, uh, do you mean put in Fab Shop Blue? You can hit a button and it starts fading in and out, doing different things. So we're gonna set the ladder up and I wanna run it across the top of that beam. That way it reflects onto our uh, galvanized metal. Got her all taped up across there. Our, our front piece is there. I made sure they landed where an LED wasn't aiming this way. And what I'm thinking is uh, we could just put a little paint on that and make it disappear. And my beautiful wife just pulled up, which means it's probably about time to go. Uh, I got us rigged up temporary just to be able to test it. You can see they're on. Let's go kill the lights and close the doors and see what happens here. Let's set a little mood lighting, huh? Well, that kind of looks cool. There, let's brighten her up. That looks better. Woo, baby. That sucker is lit up. Now, of course, it reflects more in person than the camera's picking up, guys. Oh, fancy. Robert, come look at my LED changing color strips. I could not be Santa Claus because I may have made a list yesterday, but I did not check it twice. In fact, I took my list to the uh, hardware with me. And I bought two things on the list, even though there was like four. I don't know why. Then I come out here this morning and realize that uh, the two things I did buy, well, I forgot them at the house, that's good. Luckily for us, there's plenty to do out here. So uh, we'll kind of just do a little hop skip around. Uh, what I want to get done today is our black, uh, or our, our metal here, it's eighth inch thick. And I think that's five inch wide. And I want to paint it black, and that's what I'm going to use as my baseboard trim in here, actually. Freeze right there, mother liquor. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Uh, I don't know why. I was in such a good mood this morning. I have been since I woke up at 5.45. Yeah, that's right, I slept in today. One piece of plastic ain't gonna cut it. Oh no, those things are long. The lead flooring guy just came up here. They're kind of waiting on electricians. Uh, so some of the stuff the electricians need is all stored right here and uh, Our flooring guy the guy who does doing the floor and the tile and all that. He's a perfectionist and he's a worker uh, hands down my favorite uh, Group of guys who's done anything on our house probably uh, just his perfectionist The way he does stuff. I really like anyhow. He said hey He said if the electricians need this stuff and we're down there twiddling our thumbs waiting on electricians to get done he said me and my guys are going to come start hauling this crap where we can get them out of there where i can get to work uh, so i like the sounds of that so what that means is uh, i got a dolly there they could use probably be easier for them to go out this way if we could get these big old wheels and tires out of our way uh, so i think these will be the first things we actually huff up to the loft does this look like eight hundred dollars to you uh, sweet You need to get your heart going just huff a few of them upstairs real quick come up the first time i'm gonna have to might have to have old top stitch make me a mat for that beam because i didn't bop my head on it knock the knock the devil out of me Ugh. two more to go got me all ducking now because i'm scared i'm gonna hit my head there ain't even nothing up here to hit it on one more to go that's weird guys the more you carry, it don't get any lighter. All right. Whew. There we have it. First uh, thing up in the loft. See, those are nice. We don't want those just sitting outside. At the same time, we definitely don't want them just sitting down here in our way. And uh, getting the smaller shop cleaned out was one of the things I was kind of hoping to do. Make some progress. It ain't going to be perfect. Uh, but that's a big chunk of stuff right there. Luckily for me, there's plenty of other 
wheels and tires or tires to pull up here or put up there. These are a walk in the park though compared to them big aluminum units. That's light work right there. Real light work. We did number one. That was fun. Here's number two. That ain't poo. Here's number three. It's too easy. Pretend like I didn't come down here. You never seen me. Here's number four. Give me some more. Luckily there's no number five. Cause I'm barely alive. <laughs> As you sweat, you get wetter. That looks a whole lot better. Yeah, I don't know quite what we're doing with all this stuff, uh, but shoot, at least you can walk through right here anyhow. That's a toolbox we need to put together. That's part of the toolbox. Those are some welding tables. That's a treadmill. Come on, buddy. I'll stick you with the left. Let's get our metal in here, you know? Let's keep the sweat, keep the burn going. I know you've seen them clapping push-ups. That was in too. I actually did about a hundred of them and I just showed y'all the last four. Can't be messing up the tape job. Some of y'all may recognize that as a cabinet liner upper tool, but oh no, that's a keep your metal off the floor spacer. You're doing stuff that makes you leak a lot of this stuff you better be drinking some of this stuff now shake up some of our engine degreaser we're gonna spray it and let it do some degreasing She's about a three can job. Uh, I definitely should have bought a box of rags or a bag of rags or something. I do have a whole box of these, uh, which I don't like using for this. But when you forget as much as I do, you gotta make do with what you got. You want a sweaty kiss? Okay, Think this degreaser looks sloppy, woman? Get a, get a hold of these sloppy. Sweaty lips. Them sirens moved out here to escape sirens. That's it. We're putting the place up for sale. Oh yeah. That's a little better. Should have done this last week when I had help from Matthew. But at that point, I was undecided if we were going to use this or if I was going to have some trim bent up by the uh, metal shop. Some sheet metal trim. Uh, that definitely would have been the easy way. They could have put a 90 on it. They could have uh, uh, folded over the top edge, whatever you call that. And it probably would have been black. We probably could have literally just sat it in place and screwed it on. But you hit that little sheet metal with a caster, you know, full speed ahead, uh, kind of like slamming a sausage wagon into an embankment. And you're gonna tear that little sheet metal. But if you, you slam a caster into my eighth inch thick base trim, uh, try it, try it, see what happens. Because with it on that, that wood back in it being framed, it ain't going, you ain't tearing it. That actually wasn't too bad, guys. Uh, we didn't even use a whole roll, minus the two sacrificial knee pads that they'll still work as towels. And if you ever need to do this, no one will ever need to do this. What you wanna do is take a bunch of rags, get you a clump of them, and scrape you an area until those things get filthy. Then you throw them to the side, you get you a new bunch, and you give that area a wipe down. And it does a pretty good job at cleaning. Uh, all this metal cleaned up nice. Uh, but that bunch of rags don't get dirty enough that it's not good enough for scrubbing the next area. So then you go scrub the next area. It gets really nasty. You throw it to the side and you just rinse and repeat. I'm curious if we even have enough paint to paint all this. And I'm also curious of why I didn't think of using a roller to paint this. Oh. We may have a roller in the van, I don't know. There's my paint and supplies from last time. <laughs> she sounds pretty empty. We got rollers. We got lacquer thinner. 
We got more liners. We got paper tape thingy. By God, contractor pack of blue tape. We got everything you need to paint besides paint. <laughs> We're not gonna get far, but I'm gonna do what I can. No, I'm not, because that's definitely not enough. We might as well go get more before we get started. All right, little tripper Rui, and we got us some more paint. Get my stir stick. Cause mixing it up good in the can would have made too much sense. No, no. Yeah, definitely should have got the extra larges. <laughs> I don't know why large sounded like a good idea. Yeah, I got lacquer thinner, but the gasoline was a little bit closer. Let's go see what happens here. Woo, that's covering good. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know what the difference in this roller and that roller is. Uh, I am gonna try this one because that's kind of got a textured finish, which don't look terrible, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'm going to see if this smooth, smooths her out at all. It was definitely doing better with that one. because when that top edge sticks up, being an eighth inch wide, it not being painted will stand out. There. And now that I'm thinking about it, you can tell I'm not a painter, guys. I'm not a lot of things. All I am is a damned old Pot County legend. That's it, baby. I should've took the paintbrush, did the edges, that's gonna get sloppy paint everywhere. Then you roll the top where the sloppy paint goes away and you got at least a coat on your edges. Got a good healthy coat down. I think we're gonna let it dry up good and then before I go home today and call her quits, I'll uh, put another coat on it probably. Also, maybe you can see that plastic flies up when the air blows in here and it's sticking to that. Let's weight that down a little bit. Looks like we're getting real lucky and some leaves and stuff are blowing in here and sticking to our wet paint. That's what we want to see. For the great Houdini's next act, I'll make them LED strips disappear, baby. Right across the front, you could see them, but you can't no more. Voila! I just did some measuring around here, guys. We definitely have enough metal to do the base, which is good, because I don't wanna have to go get more. We got fire extinguisher sitting over here, and I think it's a good time to get those suckers hung up. I got six of these, so we'll probably do two in here, four over there. Guys, if you don't have fire extinguishers, get them, uh, because you never know what may happen. That's a classic right there. Yeah, we tried to uh, we tried to burn down the old shop and lose the yeehaw all in one shot. All right, guys, I've been studying here because we need to mount these, and I know if I don't do it right. I'll get in trouble by the internet. So I've been studying my codes and regulations of fire safety here. We got to know exactly where to mount these because if I don't mount them in the right place, all the home inspectors and OSHA, the EPA, and the Federal Bureau of Credit is going to come after me. OSHA says three and a half to five foot. Dang. Oh, five-footer. I guess that wouldn't look too bad. 
My fire safety guy told me about butt, belly button height. He said below chest and above knees. But if me and you are different heights though. We ain't mounting no old dusty thing in here. Oh no, she's gotta look sharp. Polish up that bracket too. I think higher looks better, so I'm gonna do four and a half foot. Expert, mess with me. Expert. Let's give her a look. I think that looks pretty good. You ever give me a choice, I'd rather be screwed twice instead of once. So two screws it is. And this baby's borderline overcharged, so we're ready for a fire. This bracket, we got a lot to clean on because the, the foam sprayers were nice and got it all over this for us. That's some irony right there. Cover your fire extinguisher bracket in a very highly flammable product. Like I said, expert. These babies are inspected and certified. Do not remove by order of the fire code official. That's a good looking piece right there. Beautiful. Another pro tip for you guys is go ahead and use two screws when mounting these, even though your shop's not actually set up and you don't know where everything's gonna go. That way, if you have to move these to a new position, you leave two holes behind instead of one. I feel like that's a good spot for underneath here, just in case you got that one quick access. And then these are kind of evenly spaced around here. Uh, so you should be able to get to one fairly easy and I'm going overkill guys. We got six of them uh, Fire guy told me I could get away with two if they were spaced out correctly. I said, oh, no, sir I try to set stuff on fire. Let's get about six of them bad girls up in here up in here Now this side is gonna be a little pickier uh, Because I think most of our metal tools are gonna end up along here Some of them are taller. So we may wait on this side actually there this sucker right there is perfect this is what i'm talking about guys uh i've had people send out supplies and stuff like these shop towels and at the other sh other shop i just ain't got room for them we only got so much space and i should be more careful because there's definitely a family of spiders living in here and they do not appear to be the nice ones And I'm sad to say, they are no longer with us. And I wanna pick up over here, not a huge fan of the mess. And see like our other box here, we can toss these in there. And then this is ready to go up to the loft. And there's more spiders with big butts. And I probably need to end up with some shelving up here. And I probably need to get us some shelving up here. Uh, being super organized up here, I'm not worried about right now uh, because as we continue to move junk up there, I'm sure we'll have to keep reorganizing. I think for now we're gonna keep our LED project. And this stuff, you're supposed to just be able to cut it. And that's why it's kind of wasteful because now we got all that that we can't do diddly with. Nowadays, that's how everything's produced in a, in a way to be wasteful. A couple Datsun fenders. Uh, they may become decoration one day, but for now, take them to the loft. Extra ceiling fan to our home. Uh, I'm actually gonna take it to the attic over there. We ended up with an extra and Ashley said she'd take it back, but I said no. That sucker matches enough of them in the house. Let's just keep an extra one. If one ever goes down, boom, we got one that matches. Now that's thinking with your noggin. All right, here's my random hardware box. We're gonna keep it for now. They'll just peanut butter. You never know when you need a snack. Oh boy. 
I'd like to decide where this is gonna go and find a way to get it mounted. Funny story about this thing, a guy I know, I was telling him about a scoreboard I had and he had and he moves and sells and trades a lot of stuff. And a long story short, I'm telling him about the scoreboard. He's the one who traded it to the guy that I got it from. He traded it to the guy to recover a seat so let's just say a $800 job. He had originally bought it for 175 from an antique corner store. I went across the street from my house one day because a gentleman across there always has garage sales and he had a cool little kind of stamped Dr. Pepper sign. I gave five bucks for it. And long story short, I ended up trading a $5 sign for this scoreboard. I say I made out pretty good on the deal. He said he had it where you could uh, plug a cord in and it would light up. And I'm guessing that's what that was. Now there's just enough cord to do something with. Now I'm gonna test this and nobody should ever test this like this. I don't recommend to anybody to do this. For testing purposes, I'm just gonna shove that in there. And we're gonna plug her in and see what happens. We got three balls, two strikes, two outs. Ninth inning and it's one to one. Obviously there's not a controller for that. They're just wired in. We may mess with it some more tomorrow. Uh, guys, I come out here full of energy and physically I feel strong. Mentally, I cannot stay focused. Some of y'all just said no shit. <laughs> I get it guys, uh, I think me, forgetting stuff that I planned on doing today and then trying to adapt or whatever. Uh, and then I'm worried about getting the editing caught up. I think my best bet, I made a solid list of stuff I need to go get so we can make solid progress tomorrow. Another large part of making solid progress tomorrow would be able to get up and not have to worry about going and getting stuff and or editing where I could just get a nice early start. How about we unplug that scoreboard before uh, we forget about it and we burn down the shop we won't be here to test out them fire extinguishers. Uh, we still made solid progress, don't get me wrong. One, having a list, that's part of progress. Two, this was super time consuming. Uh, I'm glad I decided to do it though, because that's going to be durable and look good. I'm leaving here, going to go get what we need for tomorrow. Going to do some editing. This morning we're going to start off in the uh, old shop here, because we got a little sheet meddling to do. That's right. Slap your piece down. After kneeling on some paper towels yesterday, guess what I decided to purchase? That's right, these suckers are gel fit. It says right there, they're tough built. Not built tough. First, we're gonna prep this shiny metal. Looking good. So I want about a two inch overhang. The piece itself needs to be 31 inches long. Yes, I'm working with this smash down where I get nice precise numbers. Yes, I'll double check my math, 31 inches just to make sure. And yes, we want to go two inches past that away as well. And when we get this kind of mapped out, I even I, I may even tell you what we're building here. Some of y'all probably already guessed it. I say we do a three-quarter inch edge there. Then we come five in inches for the front piece. From here back, we need to go 12 inches both sides. Lube up our electric shears. I ain't use them in a minute. Right. We're doing good. We're doing good. So what are we building here, you ask? Well, this is going to be a piece that connects our two cabinets together. Uh, in our kitchen. We got the one cabinet and the other cabinet up there. This is gonna whoop, cap the top. That's right, it's gonna add a little style, give her a little pizzazz and pop. <laughs> That's a good little pop. Now this piece will be the piece you see on the front, so I want nice clean cuts here. Uh, so we're gonna do them with the old slice and dice.
Now, we are building a very professional piece. That means we need to, uh, some edges. Oh, Rupert, grab me my corner radius tool. Mark across there where we can plot out some holes. Uh, I do not think my drill's in the uh, van out there. I think it's got the mixer thing for the paint in it next to our air compressor out at the other place. It's perfect. 31 on the dot, we nailed that, so half of that would be 15 and a half. Now this piece being five inches wide, we'll mark center, go down the middle. Of course, that's gonna be just two and a half inches. Now we need to figure out what size hole and how often do we want them. Boy, we may do an inch and three quarter. That takes up about two and a half inches by the time you flare that, measuring from that edge over to that edge. So that'd be going an inch and a quarter that way and this way. And then if we did roughly two inches between them, then another two and a half inches. Then we go two inches between them and another two and a half inches and another two inches. And if we did two and a half, we're gonna end right in there. I think that'll work. So center to center, about one, two, three, four and a half inches. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down here and go uh, big mark, big mark, and big mark. I'm gonna mark them with our uh, punch. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Now we got bender again, which means I need to mark it on the back side. Just think in the future, we may get some more sheet metal tools since we'll have a little more room in the new shop out there. I don't know why I'd need that because I'm not a sheet metal guy. Hey, that ain't too shabby. Now you can kind of see it come together on what I was doing. This should overhang those cabinets on top where we can drill down through it and secure it. Here's our front edge. That's gonna be our decoration piece when we dimple dye it. And then that bottom edge, obviously that's gonna give her some strength, but it also cleans it up, you know, instead of just looking like a, a sharp edge up there. I actually have a plan on how we're gonna drill that and dimple dye it, so no big deal. We can do it out the new place. Only bad thing is we're not gonna, yeah, we'll be all right. Don't worry about it. So we want to make sure we have everything we need. A uh, dimple die. I'm going to use this as our base coat. Uh, I found some paint. I'll show you all that later. Hole saw, cutting fluid. And we need some little baby fuel hose. I ain't forgot about that lawnmower yet. Check my list. Got everything. I even remember to grab water and ice. I reckon I ain't got to wear these everywhere we go. I had an old pair of them. I don't know if I still have them or not. I'll grab them too. Slick may come help me install them baseboards today because they're so long, heavy, and wavy. It's definitely probably a two-man job. So two sets of knee pads is better than one. Wait till y'all see the color I found for that hood. First up, let's go for a little test fitment. Woo, all them strips turned out looking pretty good. I love the amount of like the, the sheen I guess you get from that satin band sickle tractor paint i think it's the perfect amount of a little bit of shiny but not like flat or even semi-gloss it's a perfect satin let's see if this is a perfect fitting oh, almost like it was made to go there well shit the bed i mean sometimes i get lucky but that right there man Check the fit up on that, folks. Don't worry if you think it's gonna hit, it don't. The way them hinges work, it don't even get close. Sitting there like that, that makes that look a hundred times better. It looks way more complete. I should even made us a little filler piece to go in between here. Put it on the list, I'll do it. Thought process was I got this piece of LVL left over from the loft, and that's good for like drilling on, so that's why I kept that. And I'm hoping if we turn it up, then that drops right there. That's kind of close, but I bet it'll work. Mm -hmm. 
You little son of a butt stain. Now the dimple diet, we're just gonna set that right underneath there. Drop that in. And I don't know if we got a real big hammer or we just got these ones here. I ho hopefully I brought the big one. Yeah, that one right there. Just give her a few love taps. Whew, get them glasses fogged up from swinging that old hammer. But man, tell me that don't look good. Tell me that don't look good. Actually, I agree with y'all. That looks better than good. You're right. You're right. Uh, that would even look fine leaving it bare metal, honestly, and clear coating it since we're in a, you know, custom car shop. But let me show you what I found. Before I left yesterday, I, I looked at the bottom of our doors and I found a piece of uh, chip paint. And I taped it in my book there, that way I wouldn't lose it, but also that way I could use it as a color reference. So I took that and we went to Lowe's or whatever and I was in the spray paint aisle. And I ain't saying that's perfect, but damn, that's pretty close. Let's get that sucker ready for some paint. See where that flared now? I'm gonna try to hit that with a flap attack. Don't worry about grinding on cardboard. Uh, we got fire extinguishers. I almost forgot. We're gonna put a little LED up underneath there. I found this little 24 inch pull string unit, which should be about perfect. Got a five year warranty and 1600 lumens. Whatever that means. And the LED's integrated. That's no bulbs to replace. When it goes bad, it's bad. Except we ain't gonna be able to wire that sucker in right now, but that's all right. Oh, direct wire. So I've seen the prongs on the end, but then it says direct wire. So mounting this should be pretty easy. We'll probably have to drill one hole uh, for the wires to pass through. Right at 24 and a quarter. She's about five and a quarter wide. How come y'all let me drill that when I wasn't in the center, huh? Let's try marking this correctly. Pop the cover off. ready for paint. Now same thing behind this is kind of off-white color. This ain't perfect. I think I'm gonna put a layer of it. It can stay on the bottom side or we can do the whole thing the green. I don't know. Let's just uh, get a layer of this on there and we'll figure it out. I forgot my shaker. So that sets up uh, before we can flip it over. I'm gonna keep our uh, paint thing going here. I got me a new caulking gun. Now I wanna get the Dewalt one, but they didn't have one because I've heard if you got one of them electric ones, it's nice, makes it a lot easier. I don't do a lot of caulking. I don't know anything about caulking. And this right here is fire barrier. And that's what I'm wanting to do is uh, I'm worried about when I'm welding or cutting some sparks rolling over and getting up underneath that lip and you go inside and an hour later, you know your shop's on fire. Oh man, y'all were not lying. Y'all were not lying. Holy cow. Someone said if you just get a good gun and quit using them little metal junk ones, it'd make your life a lot easier. And I just laid a bead like I never laid in my life. Put on a little glove here and splash a little, little water on that fingertip. I'm just gonna give it a few taps. Kinda give it a little tappy tappy. Tap her up in there. Well, we got a Gaposaurus Rex right here. Uh, I don't know how much of this stuff I should have got, but I'm betting and guessing I didn't get enough. Well, 
Well, we're rocking and rolling now, aren't we? Let's go for our first layer of green brick. And I'll be honest, guys, I ain't worried about painting the bottom side with that lip and everything. You ain't really gonna see it unless you try really hard to see it. I was able to get some all the way over to there. One more tube may get us. Uh, Slick is gonna come out here later. I asked him if he could grab two, two tubes for us and he said, no problem. Our countertop here, I never actually screwed it down and that's because I wanted to put something on there. I didn't know what to put on there. I wanted to do like a poly, but I think carb cleaner, brake cleaner, crap like that'll break it down. Out at the Lowe's, I've seen some of this. It's just an oil. I don't know if it's gonna do us any good. I don't know that, you know, we're not gonna break it down. I don't know what it's gonna do. I just know I'm about to slap some gloves on and get a rag and wipe some on and see what that looks like. Woo! <laughs> a little stinky. be honest I don't even know if I'm doing this thing any good by doing this hey Ma put it in his new shop rubbing on his wood quick wipe over with a clean rag and then you hardly get any extra off so that stuff just soaks her up. Drawer slide. She looks good. What else could you ask for? Lock her down. <laughs> Reaching up in there's a chore. Get you hot and sweaty. Four, eight, probably nine actually. We got anywhere from 17 to 20 screws in it. I wanted this edge pretty flush. That way we can tuck the refrigerator pretty tight there. This edge has an overhang. Well, the screws had to go out of angle for me to be able to use my impact. And on this end, one, two, three, four of them came out. Don't worry about that. I got a slice and dice that'll uh, make them just disappear. The memory card on the camera got full, so I had to come back here for another one. So since we're here, I just figured we may knock out a filler piece for between our other cabinets real quick. That's only four inches thick. I think the last one was five and a half maybe. And it ain't gonna overhang on top as much to the side, uh, but I think it'll look good on there. Do do, do do. Try her into place. Uh, she fits pretty good in there too. I bought this power cord. I actually got it for the scoreboard, uh, but this is more important. Wire nut that. Dang, already getting her dirty. Actually, getting it dirty may be the secret to making it look good here, because the rest of them are plumb dirty. Let's see what the camera thinks. Yeah, you can tell she's a little off color, but for real, you see how this stuff's all dirty with fingerprints and just you know, from wear and tear. My hand may be dirty enough. Maybe hit a little elbow grease. Some of y'all's like, oh, is he really getting that dirty? Guys, this is a workstation. It ain't a vanity. I ain't gonna sit here and do my makeup. Go wrap on our extra cord. And then I'm gonna drill some hole from the top side down, put one screw in each side where it holds it into place. And that'll be it. I didn't like the front being floppy, so I put another in here towards the front. Uh, those are sticking up from our mount our lamp, but not too worried about them. Let's try her out. Oh, there she goes. She hesitated. 
but it definitely lights up our little bench area good. Uh, I dig it. Like if I needed to sit here and read a, a love note my wife wrote me just to make sure I had a good day, I could sit here and read it. Yeah, that looks better having something in there, I think. Now, one last thing I forgot over here before my memory card had filled up. Uh, I never did grind down these screws. Waiting on old Slick Fitty. He's running a little behind, which ain't no big deal. Uh, we just gotta stay busy, of course. And I've got plenty to clean up. I think underneath the stairs is a good area for a jack stands. Just put that right there. Our scoreboard, I'm happy to see that it lights up. But I do think we're gonna have to wait to really do anything with it. None of the stuff we're putting up is permanent, probably. It's all subject to change. Luckily for now, though, we can at least put stuff in these so we can clean up some of this mess around here. Yeah. We may move that, but for now, at least we can enjoy seeing old glory in the background. Little wire racks are all there. I think these racks will make great storage up in our loft area. None of this stuff seems very time consuming until you start doing it all. And it's like, holy crap, where'd half the day go? Actually, we're way past half the day now. I got up at six o'clock, took merchandise to the post office. I've been busy since. Took daughter to volleyball, been editing, been, of course, then working out in the shop, then here. I can literally go a million miles per hour, eight days a week. Non-stop doing something, no matter what. Always got something to do. Then I got people mad at me. You don't even respond on social media anymore. You don't respond to YouTube comments. Uh, guys, there's only so many hours in a day. The day I keep absolutely everybody happy is the day that hell freezes over, because it ain't gonna happen. There's one. Found the flag holder. The generator ain't light. Just a typical day around here, a leaf blowing my shelf, don't worry about it. What do we got here? A little frozen treat. A little berry medley with coconut on top, perhaps? I don't know what it is. My wife just showed up and handed it to me, though. And it's frozen. This bottom part is. And I'm going to eat every bit of it. Stirred up, it ain't the most attractive looking thing I've ever seen. She don't taste too bad, though. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, sticking them that way is really the only, they're so long, that's about the only way they're gonna fit up here. That sounds like a love taps here. <laughs> Just weasel on in here. <laughs> Got a helping hand now. Y'all ain't even seen old Slick 50 in a minute, uh, but he's here in the old love tap. And look, he doesn't got bougie on us. He got him a nice hood, rust free. You cleaned her up recently, didn't you? The yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I like I like it with the white hood even. We're gonna uh, start to figure these out. We're gonna flip them up into place and they're probably gonna sit terribly because I see the high spot in the concrete already. The gap ain't too crazy. We may have to see if they just make a black uh, cock and go along the bottom of that. I don't think it looks bad. I know that's eighth inch thick and we're not going to just send a screw through it. We're going to have to drill some uh, pilot holes first. Got my T15 bit. 
And I got my special screws that go flat. Well, Sir Mordecai sent me this uh, a while back. Ain't used them yet. So right underneath the head of this thing, it does taper a little bit. That's why I had to go to a bigger drill bit. The one in the corner did not sit flush, but this one out here definitely did. That looks good. And right here is the main reason I need split seal. <laughs> All right, we got her trimmed out to the pole. Have a little look from back here. Yeah, she looks pretty good. Get a little black paint on them screws and make them disappear. She'll look a lot better. piece here is a little tricky because it's at an angle here so we cut it long so that way we got our angles to go cut and it should match should should oh yeah that's money hey did you see in the comments where somebody said that we had a hidden project hidden somewhere in here yeah uh-uh. Oh. I ain't seen a hidden project. You seen a hidden project? Not that I know of. I've seen a couple of dust collecting rags sitting around. Yeah. That's about it. I also seen a couple of smart people who done got a, got a glimpse of it and figured out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you all what's underneath them tarps soon enough. Got this side all done. Ready to start putting metal on now. So we hole saw right there, then where the hole saw goes, we'll put a couple edges and cut it and notch it. Sure hope that's in the right spot. <laughs> oh, baby. Money? That's money. You get down there? Yeah. Damn right. It almost looks like the hole, like on Tom and Jerry. Oh, Jerry always has a little perfect hole in the base trim. Like a little round hole. Yeah, that's that spot. <laughs> and right here, we're gonna need some type of transition piece uh, to go probably do some type of taper would look good. So that's what I'm gonna figure out next. batteries are dead now just enough to finish that cut just, just you know don't worry about that <laughs> where's all the time going a day slick down the drain man quick uh, we got our little transition piece kind of cut and it's just sat in place right now we got another little piece to do but all the dewalt batteries are dead uh, i'm about on e myself in fact uh me you know, my kiddos, my wife, uh, we got to go up to the city and see my mom. Anyhow, what I'm saying is we're out of time. So I had to clean up this where you can at least start to picture how this is coming together. That black trim definitely helps it pop in here. Old glory is never a bad sight. And then this whole little setup I'm super happy with. And little transition pieces we built today, uh, no regrets there because it definitely ties it all together. And the, the oil choice up here, that was a pretty good oil choice. So I really wanted to get the trim done. Uh, I decided we were definitely buying some black silicone to caulk the trim to the floor. That'll really make it look nice. I got to get shorter screws for a couple areas. And also, uh, batteries are dead. We can't make any more cuts. But the metal we got left over, I'm going to do 
uh, what I can to end up framing this in with that. What I'm trying to figure out is I think Monday I was supposed to have electricians here to start mm, doing some more power stuff for me. I don't know how long they're going to be here. I was hoping in this go around, I thought I was going to move cars in three hours and then I was going to start laying out air stuff. I thought I was going to install cabinets in two hours <laughs> and then start laying out air stuff. And I thought do paint and trim was going to take an hour and I was going to install it yesterday, you know. Uh, I'm just always biting off more than I can chew in the time I always try to give myself. But it's necessary, guys, because all these little details, it's really bringing this shop together. And it's making it look like a, a shop, not a old crappy barn. Uh, in case, I don't know if I ever showed these pictures, but this is what it looked like when I got the place. You could definitely cut a rug in here with the floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally had, had carpet duct taped to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> you can still, still see the old tape lines. Yeah. Uh, but guys, it's, it's coming together. I appreciate y'all being patient with me as this is pretty much my option for content here lately uh, because just, you know, I've explained it. We're so close, close to moving in over there that I want this place to be move in ready too. I think if I could have one more solid week out here, we would have it. That's assuming I got enough air stuff, which I probably did not. I probably got enough to put like an outlet on each wall or something. I'm going to be working in here stretching four hoses here or there. I go, what the hell am I doing? So that's it, guys. I appreciate y'all watching, being patient with me. Uh, this is really neat, though, because I've dreamed and dreamed and dreamed of being able to do stuff like this and get it done right and... Well, you know, fine wine, baby. Just takes time. Uh, I'm on Instagram. We're on the Patreon. Uh, PuddingsFabShop.com for that good quality merchandise. Thank you guys for the support the last go around. Uh, we're working on getting that stuff cranked out. But when y'all basically sell us out in about three hours uh, and we've got a thousand orders to fulfill, it takes us a minute. Every, every, uh, I bought it a week ago. It was Monday. Yeah, you and everyone else. Uh, we're trying to get caught up on it, guys. So thanks for being patient there. Thanks for the support there. Thanks for the support of just watching here, being here time and time again, guys. It means the world to me and my family. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. But do not forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. We still got more trim work to do. Ain't going to be no sitting for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to sit, but uh, hell, I'd like to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs>